because they probably think I'm crazy. But you know what? They all come back. All of them. Hey, cousins. Welcome back to my channel. I just finished doing my hair and talking about boys. So if you want to talk to me a little bit and do your hair with me, then just keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, y'all. So, um, about to do my hair. Ooh, where's my oil? Cause this hair is dry, y'all. Let me tell you, I just colored my hair. So I colored these bundles. Um, I did good. I know I did. No, I'm kidding. Um, I colored these bundles, and I had to. Oh, here got my oil. I had to um mash my hair with it. So. I'm gonna just put a little bit of oil in my hair and we just gonna talk about boys, men, child. So, um, I have a mirror right here so I can see. So if I'm looking over, that's why. But hey y'all, what y'all been up to? Basically, um, I'm just about to flat iron my hair and it's kind of late. I ain't really going nowhere. Um, I just needed to straighten it. But let's talk about, yeah dudes or whatever so lately i have been feeling like i well i have been dating i just recently like stopped talking to this guy that was a weirdo and he called me bipolar and i was like no you're a loser so how about that um but yeah like i know i'm kind of jumping into it a little heavy right now but I feel like he might have called me bipolar just because um, I could be a little bit spoiled. And um, I express my emotions. And I, I didn't used to be like that. Like, I used to be the kind of person who just didn't care. Or, you know, if I felt some type of way, I just wouldn't say it. But I'm not like that no more. So however I feel, I'm going to say it and either deal with it or not. Like, I was just having a conversation about that with my friend. And, um... Yeah, like, I'm not about to hold nothing back no more. So, basically, like, I have been feeling like I wanted to date. Um, Just because, I don't know. I just, I don't know why. I think when I just get, like, lonely, I feel like I want a guy. Like, I always, not need, but I always want somebody in rotation. Like, if, like, people say that, everybody got somebody but i go through periods where i don't have nobody and i don't i'm not dating i'm not talking to nobody not even texting like my phone will be dry for days all day i will not get hit by one person you know what i'm saying no text no call or nothing from nobody so i started having a conversation with my friend Brittany, and she was just like just sliding in dms and i was like for real and so she like, yeah, like, it's easy. Just do it. So I started, you know what I'm saying? I started sliding a little bit. You feel me? Like, not really ice skating, but you know what I'm saying? Little, little, little roller skates. <laughs> no, nah, so I started sliding a little bit. I've been getting a couple of um, responses, but um, some of them, I want to say they all responded, but like, it hasn't been like constant or it hasn't been like, well, one of them was like, um you know what's your number or whatever but i don't know i feel like my personal experience so far has been like i meet them so quick and so easily that it's just be like it just fizzles out real quick you know what i'm saying and i don't necessarily you know i don't really i don't know i just i don't know if it's for me like granted i've only slid into like three dudes dms one was like a kind of a celebrity and he didn't respond but Give me like two years. He's going to be mad. He didn't respond. But um, if y'all care, the flat iron I'm using is Hot Tooth Professional. Uh, it's a one and a half inch titanium child. I don't know. But just if, if, if you care. And I put Morocco oil on my hair. Anyway. So yeah, I've been sliding a little bit. A little slip and slide or whatever in the, in, into, into guys' DMs. But um, it hasn't really been what I expect it and mind you i'm like dming a guy right now i don't know like i didn't i'm just getting hip to like when a person 
follows you and then likes a bunch of pictures, then they trying to talk to you or they like you. I don't, listen, girl, I don't know. Um, so anyway, I'm DMing this boy back and forth right now, but he's probably going to be the last guy that I DM because, not to get all deep or whatever, but I'm about to just focus on myself. And I'm not saying that in a way that it's like, oh, I'm tired of trying to date. I'm just going to focus on me. You know, like when girls really be like, um, in they feelings or they really be like, um, I'm, like the word that I'm trying to think of is like slipping my mind right now, but when they're just like being spiteful in a way, like they really want to talk to somebody, but they're just being like, oh, I'm going to focus on, no, I'm really dead ass going to focus on myself. And this is why. So I feel like the type of man that I want, like, I think I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I got like great qualities or whatever, and I'm doing pretty okay right now. But the type of man that I want um, I don't think I'm completely the woman that I want to be to attract him. You know what I'm saying? And why I said attract that hard, I don't know. But, um, so yeah, I don't, I don't feel like I'm the woman because they say you pretty much are what you attract and the type of man that I want, listen, okay. Like it's a very particular type of man, but I have like a lot more growing to do. Like it's things that I want to do and like certain positions that I want to be in. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to really be like, I want to be solid in my career or at least more solid in my career path when my man or a potential man is like, oh, well, what do you do for a living? I don't want to be like, oh, well, um, I'm trying to do this and that. And, and I think it's nothing wrong with that. But personally, like, I just want like a real high quality man. And mind you, I could maybe, I maybe could find him how I am right now, but I just feel like, the type of level that I'm trying to get or like the type of man that I want to attract, I'll just be able to attract a much, much, a more quality man, like, <laughs> girl, spit it out. A more quality man, the better that I am, if that makes sense. So, so yeah, like, let me know if y'all like agree with that or feel the same way or if y'all even think about that. Because I feel like some people would disagree and be like, oh, you don't have to be no type of way because I feel like girls meet all types, all types of guys. Like they don't really, you know, it, they don't really be doing nothing and they could be whatever. But yeah, it's just like a personal thing for me. I really want to meet a certain type of man and I feel like I want to be at a certain level. But not even just that, though. I feel like when I'm dating, it distracts me. Like the guy that I just stopped talking to recently if I was still talking to him, I would be at his house and not doing my hair right now and not doing this video. You know what I'm saying? Like, I possibly would be doing that and chilling and just laying up under him or out to eat with him or not just doing something else other than this. And I don't want to do that. Like, I want just to, I don't know. I just want like more of an ideal situation to where, um... I can still be productive and we're like on the same page. I don't know. I just want to get myself like together for real, for real before I meet the man that I'm with. And I can still date. I'm not closed off to dating at all. Um, This is turning out cute. I'm not closed off to dating like whatsoever, but it's just, it's just my preference to, you know, get myself together. I feel like before I started this, this video, I had like other things that I wanted to touch on and talk about. I think the main things were just like, really getting yourself together before you, um, you know, instead of dating or before you really like go into dating. So, I mean, which I think, and I feel like guys come when you like not really tripping off them and not really paying attention and not really being, you know, necessarily press, press the date, at least for me. Oh, this is turning out so cute. So, yeah, so my goal is to get myself together specifically, and I feel like y'all, my my um upper lip is sweating. They say you crazy when it, when you be sweating right there, but hmm, according to my exes, they probably think I'm crazy. But you know what? They all come back, all of them. They all in my DMs and in my listen. Leave me alone texting me about how crazy their baby mother is you should have chose me when you had the chance boo 
You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, back to what I was saying. Do y'all hate when people say anywho? I hate it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't like anywho. Don't say that around me, please. But, so, yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, I just, I just want to be at a certain level. I'm still open to dating, but I don't want, like, where I am, I want to attract a man that's, like, at a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to attract a man that's at my level. I want to attract a man who's at, like, a higher level. And not saying that it can't be done, because women do it every day. But I, I prefer to, like, match my man and not, you know, I want him to make more money. But I want to be able to, you know, have some bread, too. Like, not feel uncomfortable if we go to a certain place and I can't, you know, and I can't pay for it or whatever. Even though I don't want to pay for nothing. When I have my man, I want him to look at me crazy when I touch my purse. Okay? For real. I'm not that kind of woman. Oh, I got it. No, I don't. You got it. So... Yeah, that's what I'm on. But what else was I talking about? Yeah, like as much as I want to date, like I really felt like I wanted to date. But now I just feel like I want to, you know, get on my shit. Like that's super important to me right now to just get on my shit. Oh, this is what I was going to say. So y'all, I'm about to get a trainer. And I feel like I always talk about this because it's, it's always on my mind. But I feel like part of me not feeling like myself, like I talked about in my last video was because of um like honestly from gaining weight like I feel like gaining weight has me in a place where I'm not as confident as I usually am like you know I'll put myself together and be like oh you look good or you fine or whatever but it's not the same it's just not the same like I don't care what nobody say my friends um you know cousins or whatever whoever be like oh it's not that bad no Y'all ain't y'all have not seen my stomach. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all ain't seen my stomach sitting in my damn lap, okay? So, like, and I appreciate their support and I appreciate them still telling me I'm cute or whatever. But yeah, that has to change because like I feel like that affects a lot of things. Like they say your um your physical body is a manifestation of your being or like how you feel about yourself or something like that. And I don't want to feel like this no more. I feel like I talk about this. Oh, look at this hair. I feel like I, I, I feel like I talk about this all the time. But for real though, like, what is going on right here? <gasps> is my trap coming out? Oh my god, y'all, what's happening? Oh my god, that's so weird. Anyway, <laughs> blooper. But yeah, so, um, yeah, I just feel like. I don't want to, like, I I know I could be loved and I'm attractive and all that stuff like that, but I don't I don't want to attract, I, don't, I just, mm -mm. I want to be a certain type of way because I, I know I'm fine as hell, but I could be finer, you know what I'm saying? And I know that just, just personally, aside from any man or dating or any of that stuff, once I get myself how I want to be and the way I want to look and stuff, it's going to, like, go over or bleed over or whatever it's going to affect everything else i have in my life it's going to affect my work ethic it's going to affect how i treat people it's going to affect how i treat myself so anyway saying all that to say oh that's what happened i was like how did my hair get stuck but no saying all that to say that i'm getting a trainer and um yeah i'm gonna start this week and I'm excited about it. And I'm just really getting to the point where I'm not expecting to... How do how every video get to talking about this? But anyway, um, getting to the point where I'm not... When I don't expect to... Um, when I don't expect... I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting sidetracked. Or I'm getting, like, brain fart. Speaking of fart, have y'all ever heard me fart on camera? Because I be farting. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I'm gonna start with a trainer. Oh, what I was saying was, I think I always expect to, you know, instant gratification and for it to happen so fast, but I have to plan and prepare and like, you know, just be ready for it to be something that takes a little while. It's not gonna be something that happens even in a month or two months, you know? So 
I gotta be ready for that. But yeah, like, I mean, the things that I have to do, like I'm trying to really focus, sorry about the plane, y'all. I have to really focus on self care. That's really important to me. And I feel like I even been slipping on that, but focus on self care. Um, focus on my career, focus on saving money. Y'all know I'm trying to get a house next year. Not even trying, I'm buying a house next year or some property. It's most likely going to be a condo. Um, but yeah, like all those things I have to focus on and I just want to get those out the way and I will date. So if you see me, you want to holler, mm, go and slide. But, uh, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And I prefer it just come to me naturally you know so yeah i'm trying to think what else can we talk about i hate i need to start writing stuff down because in the beginning when i had this idea y'all when i had this idea in the beginning i um i had like some other topics to talk about but they're slipping my mind of course now and i don't want to be like repetitive and rambling but yeah. Oh, if y'all have any like tips on how to like better focus on yourself or like if y'all want to talk about like any struggles that y'all have or have been having, comment them down in the like comment them below. And let me know like the like if y'all have any ideas on um how to just focus on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Cuz being out here like I'm I live in Atlanta and it's, I don't know. I mean, I know people, but it's not like I have real friends or confidant type shit. So, um, you know, it gets lonely. Like today I was lonely. Like all day today, I was just like in my car, just driving. And then I'm calling people. They're like, where you going? I'm like, mm, nowhere. I'm just sitting in my car. They're like, just not doing nothing. Mm -mm, no. Cause I just don't want to be in the house, but it's like, I don't really have nowhere to go. So, you know, but what was good about today and me feeling like a little bit like lonely is that I talked to like all of my friends today, like so many of my friends I talked to and my family. So that was cool. But yeah, y'all definitely want to just get focused and just, you know, write my goals down and talk about, I mean, and um, focus on that. But I still want to date, though. Like, what if I want to do it? What am I going to do? Oh, but you know what? I might just be celibate. <laughs> I don't know. I might be celibate. Um, Because it's like, what's the point anyway? You know? I don't want to just have, you know, I don't want no casual stuff. You know what I'm saying? I want, I want it to be something like, I ain't gonna say that it gotta be all meaningful, but I want it to be like good. Like I want it to be like nice and sensual and sexy. And you can't just have that with anybody. Y'all, I met this real ghetto boy yesterday. When I say, and I'm terrible because I gave him my number too. When I say the first thing he said when he met me was, hey, look, I'm toxic. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. A teeny, teeny part of me was like, mm, <laughs> like me too. <laughs> But no, like, he was like, I'm toxic or whatever. And my dumb ass just still got his number. You know what I'm saying? Praise the Lord. He ain't text me yet. I'm going to probably just go ahead. I mean, I ain't going to even lie to y'all. I'm going to probably talk to him, see what he's talking about. I know he probably ain't talking about nothing. But we're going to see. Because I'll be lonely, y'all. I'll be lonely. So we're going to see what he's talking about. If he ain't talking about nothing, then I'm out. But, you know. Which he probably won't be. He was like, he like a little rapper or something. He was shooting a video. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. But I, but I want a quality man, but I'm not really focused on guys right now. But when I do decide to start really, like, dating and want to, like, settle down, if you will, I want it to be a good quality man. Quality. Hold on, I can't see you. Ooh. This looked pretty good because my leave out was looking fried, wasn't it? That shit was looking fried, dilate to the side. All right, so that was quick. I know that's fine. Okay, y'all. Sam. Oh, I look 
look cute, y'all. Thumbs up if I look cute. Just thumbs up in general. Y'all need to stop playing with my thumbs ups. And subscribe. Um, yeah, anyway, if y'all have some video ideas, some topics y'all want to talk about, or y'all want me to talk about, then just let me know, please. Yeah, this is cute. Um, but yeah, if y'all want me to talk about anything in particular, let me know. I'm down to talk about it. Oh, you know what? I got a story time. Should I do it now? Okay, I'm gonna do it now. Cause it's, it's like a short story time. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just tell y'all about the time when I, um, basically I robbed this guy in LA. 